Hi, I'm Sean Dye. Today we're going to do a quick lesson on watercolor studies. So I brought in a photo reference that I took in Abiquiu, New Mexico. So uh, we're going to pretend that we're on location and that we're traveling light. We want to get a good sketch of this to bring back into the studio. So uh, when I'm traveling, I like to have a nice compact folding palette. Um, so I have my colors set up in the palette. And I've got a handful of brushes here. Um, I've got a piece of uh, a scrap of uh, watercolor paper, heavy watercolor paper here. And what I want to do is I want to get the basic impression of my scene, but I don't have to worry about being too, too detailed. And one of the things about uh, doing your on location studies is that you can capture things uh, sometimes very quickly that you can, uh, you can bring that sort of uh, quickness and enthusiasm into your, into your painting in the studio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just sketch. This is a, a graphite pencil. I'm going to sketch out the basic composition in pencil first. I'm going to look at the basic shapes. Um, and so I'm just dividing my composition it up into small shapes. And then I'm going to take a half inch brush and start putting in some color. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, look up at my sky and the water that's reflecting that sky color. I'm going to come in with some blue. and a little bit of Payne's Gray. And I'm going to have a piece of uh, paper towel handy in case I have any drips. So the great thing about these little studies is there are many paintings uh, you don't have to worry about um, uh, too much if it's going to be a great success. It's a way of just sort of exploring the composition and planning for a larger painting. If you end up with a great painting, then you can call it a painting. If it's so-so, you're going to call it a study. I'm going to use a combination of uh, Payne's Gray and a little bit of my raw sienna. I'm just going to sketch in some of the foliage here. Now the red uh, rock formations in the back are quite important. So we will get those in. That, there's a nice uh, contrast between the orangey colors and all the blue colors over here. I've got a sort of pile of red and a pile of orange here on my palette. I've got some sort of red violets in these bushes over here, so we'll use a little bit of the crimson and Payne's Gray together to get those in. And then it's a landscape, even though it's in the southwest, we've got some greens, so I'm going to put some greens in. I love traveling around to different parts of the country and trying to capture the essence of that region. What you can do on your own is you can actually give yourself a limit of time that you're going to spend on your sketches. So take a look at your watch and say, okay, I want to get this sketch done in five to ten minutes. 
And when you're done with that one, move on <clears throat> to another one. And that way, they won't be too precious. Um, you'll have a, a body of work. You'll have all sorts of uh, little examples and little uh, a stack of watercolors that you can kind of pull out and use for um, references for, for larger paintings when you get back into the studio. Now, I'm going to put a couple of shadows in that rock formation up there just to show a little bit of the structure. I'll put some reflections in the water. And we're done. Thanks a lot for joining me. I hope you uh, visit my website, shondystudio.com, and you can see more of um, the free art lessons at jerrysartorama.com.